Hello, this is Shane from Viscount Capital. Today I'm going to run through how to calculate maximum drawdown. So to begin with, what is maximum drawdown? It's essentially a risk analytic which measures the worst case scenario for a fund. So in wo other words, it's good to think of it as a, a sort of trough to peak uh, type of uh, measure. So it might be useful uh, as I said, when you're looking at a load of different funds and perhaps some of the risk of standard deviation or value at risk, perhaps some of the worst case scenario as with regards to your timing might not be factored into these analytics. So here's the quickest way to potentially calculate maximum drawdown. We can start with just normal drawdown and the first cell is going to be zero because that's just a nav, there's no change and then from there we can do equal to a three divided by maximum maximum of a two and what we want to do is freeze the first part so that's going to be calculating the maximum drawdown all the way down. As I said, this is uh, quite a large set of data, so you want the most efficient way to do it. Um, and then to calculate the maximum drawdown, essentially what we want to do is look at the minimum, because this is the maximum loss that one could have if you timed your investment in a bad way over this time period. And we get 7.09. So 7.09 is the maximum that one could l continually lose. I think it's important to mention that this is a sort of consecutive losing streak. So for this particular fund over this uh, data period, the uh, uh, longest losing streak that one would have would be 7.09%. So that's it. I think this is the simplest way to do it. Uh, there might be an easier way, but certainly I've seen a lot of people overcomplicate this. And essentially, as I said, the, com the, the actual computations can be done very, very quickly. And uh, there's no real need unless you want to uh, go seriously into the drawdown analysis. Essentially, all you really need is this, uh, this one thing. Thank you very much for watching and I uh, hope this video was of some assistance.